Hey guys, here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a great, easy stone fly pattern. We're going to tie the pants from our legs. Super simple, but super effective. You can really crank these out when you get going. We're going to get started on this right now. All right, so in the vise today, I have a TM Coat 200R, so a curved shank nymph hook and a size of eight. I'm going to start this fly off with some lead wire, um, and I'm just going to get this whole shank almost covered. So just going to keep going here and wrap pretty much the whole thing in wire. Um, this is going to make it so it sinks super quick and it's going to help create a little bit of bulk here for a nice fat stone fly. So that looks good there. I'm going to pack this and tuck my little tag away. That's pretty much it. We're going to start off our thread. We're going to use UTC 140 and a brown. I'm just going to start this right in front of the lead and then I'm going to do nice light turns here up and you'll see I keep my tag over my lead so that when I wrap this it binds the lead down it doesn't split it up at all so a couple up and down and then I'm going to leave our thread right back here where we cut off our tag so for our tail here we're going to use UV life flex um, from Spirit River and I'm just going to tie this in one side one tail on my side and we'll get it in there and then we'll bring it down the hook shank a little bit right about to above our barb there then I'll bring this back up and then I'll pull this one over and we'll do the same thing we'll tie it down right to where the other one is and then I'll just trim that to length roughly so the next thing we're going to tie in is going to be our body material and we're going to use some hairline variegated chenille and this is in a coffee black color so what i've done is just stripped off a little bit of this off the core so now all i have here is just that core material and i can tie this in without creating a bump it's a good trick for buggers as well just get it on there i'm going to advance my thread up probably about the three quarter mark here and then i'm going to tie in my legs so for legs, we're going to use the same exact material, this hairline life flex in a brown. I'm going to tie all three of them in together, and this is a super easy way to do it. Get it on there right on top of the hook shank, take another wrap over, and then I'm going to throw a wrap around these here. And then around again, we'll just splay these out. Adjust that a little bit. And basically, I just want to get them on there and facing relatively the same direction here. And we're going to control our legs with our body material. So when I wrap this forward, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's so just going to get our wraps going. Make sure these are touching turns. Another trick here, too, if you want to do this, you can pull these over and then throw a wrap or two of thread over them. And this way it keeps them out of the way. So just continue to wrap here right up the hook shank. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit like and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos. That way you don't miss any. Okay, I'm gonna take my thread wraps off here. We're at our first set of legs, so I'm just gonna pull them back, take a wrap through them, and then I'm gonna pull two forward and take another wrap through here. You kinda of need a third hand for this, but once you get going, it's pretty easy. And we can always just wrap and then pull the legs to where we need them as well. So I'm going to pull these two back here and take a wrap in front of them. So you can see you can adjust these and pull them where you need them. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to take one more wrap and then tie this off. Wrap that up. Take a wrap in front. And then we'll just cut this off, get it out of the way. Basically, I want to make sure I have a nice clean tie-off point here. So I'm going to take a couple wraps back. And then I'm going to tie my antenna in. So for antenna, we have the same UV life flex here. So I'm just going to take that, wrap it over my thread, and place it right on top of the hook shank. And then we're going to make sure that one is kind of left to center of the hook shank, and one is right of center. So just get them on there. And then we're just going to whip finish over them here. Get our whip finish in there. 
Ooh, I mean, I missed. Let's just get the whip finish in there. And we'll get rid of our tag here. So we're just going to cut those to length, uh, roughly there. Um, you can kind of vary that up a little bit. Let's see our legs are kind of every which way. So we're going to pull these down here and we're going to trim them to length. Um, it's kind of up to you, but I like to pull them, make sure they're tight, but not too tight. There's about two or three hook gaps. I'm missing one. Just pull that one in. It's two or three hook gaps and just trim that off. And that looks pretty good to me. You can see the legs kind of get a little wonky, but they're about where we need them. So next thing we're going to do is come back here, trim my tail a little bit shorter. And this stuff can be a little difficult to cut. Okay, that's pretty much it. What I like to do here is come in with my scissors and create some taper. So I like to come down and keep my scissors angled. And just behind the legs is where we're going to do this. Pull them out of the way. Just create a nice taper here so we don't have a super round body. Completely unnecessary and you don't really see that in a production fly. But it's a nice touch that I like to add. And just get rid of some of that bulk. That's pretty much it guys, uh, super simple stonefly pattern. Once you get going, you can really start cranking these out. Give it a try and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.